What's up guys, I'm Jeremy with ISOPower.com. Today we're going to talk about the battery capacity differences between a sealed lead acid battery and a lithium iron phosphate battery and how we can use that information to keep us fishing longer. Let's get nerdy with it. Uh, that's so stupid. Before we get started guys, I want you to get down there in the comment section, tell me what fish finder you have, what battery you have in that fish finder. While you're in there, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I don't know if it's on that side or that side. I'm figuring it out still. Hit those buttons. Let me know what battery you're using. That helped me out a whole bunch. Thanks, guys. All right, let's talk about amp hours. An amp hour is how we measure capacity in a battery. So let's say we have a 10 amp hour battery. That battery can discharge one amp for 10 hours, or it's supposed to. Now... The problem is some batteries don't, and that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, mainly differences in sealed lead acid battery capacity and lithium, lithium iron phosphate battery capacity. So one of the big problems with the sealed lead acid battery is you're not able to discharge it completely without damaging it. So when you discharge a sealed lead acid battery between 11.5 and 10.5 volts, you run the risk of damaging that battery. Once you get below 10.5 volts, you're absolutely ruining that battery's ability to retain charge. That's where lithium, lithium iron phosphate batteries uh, have a huge advantage because you're able to discharge that, that energy you put into that battery, you're able to get almost all that energy back out where you're about 50% with a sealed lead acid battery. And those, those amp hours in a sealed lead acid battery, we call those unusable amp hours because you're just going to wreck the battery if you discharge that low. But the thing is, battery manufacturers, they'll still put like a 9 amp hour sealed lead acid battery, typical, typical Vexlar fish finder battery, you usually find. You're only able to really get 4.5 amp hours out of that battery. Because once you go below that, that you know, uh, depth of discharge threshold, you're ruining it. So that's one of the main reasons your battery prematurely dies in your Vexlar is you're running it completely dead until your until your fish finder turns off and then over and over and over again and then it only lasts three hours or whatever. Yeah, where, where before you might have been able to get eight hours in a day. Where in a lithium iron phosphate battery, there's a board inside the battery called a BMS board, a battery management system. And one of the functions of, one of the, the functions of that board is to prevent low voltage damage to your battery. So you're, you're out fishing, you run that battery down. Uh, once it hit, gets around 10 volts, most of them are set up for right around 10 volts, that board will disconnect the battery. And you won't be able to use that battery again until you charge it up. That's just going to save those cells. Um, that's why that's one of the, the really cool features about lithium iron phosphate battery compared to, to lithium or compared to sealed lead acid batteries is the sealed lead acid batteries don't have that board. So if you follow us on Instagram or Facebook, you know we built two boxes for that D DIY video, our first video I had posted. And we're going to give one box away to Instagram followers that commented on post. We're going to give another one away to Facebook followers that commented on a, a post uh, last week. So first one is a red do-it-yourself kit box uh, that I wired up. We're going to get away to Instagram follower mainly in shape. So send us a message and uh, with your address and email and we will get this box off to you along with a ISO power tumbler. So we can't really compare these two batteries without talking about cycle life. Now, cycle life, we're talking about charge-discharge cycles of the battery. With a sealed lead acid battery, if you're taking care of the battery, you're not running it down your fish finder and you're throwing it up on, on a charger, even on the off-season every two or three months, you can expect to get about 400 cycles out of that battery. Where in a lithium iron phosphate battery, if you're doing the same thing, you're charging it, putting that maintenance charge on it, you can expect to get about 2,000 
charges. Um, that alone, you you you'll have to buy that. You'll have to buy four or five sealed lead acid batteries before you have to replace that lithium iron phosphate battery. I mean, that alone is huge. Then you factor in the the longer run times because of how many usable amps you have in that lithium iron phosphate. And we haven't even talked about weight. I mean, these lithium iron phosphate batteries, they're half the weight as their as, as a sealed lead acid battery. So, uh, uh, well, we'll throw them on scale right now. So I got a couple batteries here to compare. This is a 9 amp hour sealed lead acid. That guy is... 5 pounds, 8.9 ounces. This is a 12 amp hour lithium iron phosphate from Amped Outdoors. 2 pounds, 9.6 ounces. So quite a bit of difference. So yeah, pretty significant weight difference there between the two battery types. Um, I suppose we better give away the other box, huh? Alright guys. Let's give away that other power box. So the winner of the Facebook uh, power box contest, Josh Hansen. So Josh, shoot me a message on the ISO Power Facebook page. Let me know what your address is and your email. We'll get that box off to you, along with the tumbler. So in this video, I was really hoping to do some battery capacity testing, but my dang tester didn't get here in time. So should be here and another couple days but I really wanted to push this video out because I had mentioned on the on the Facebook page and Instagram uh, that the winners for the giveaway be announced today okay guys one more thing to talk about here lithium iron phosphate versus sealed lead acid in cold weather so uh, lithium iron phosphate that's gonna be good about 20 below you'll see a little bit of capacity loss once you get that low, but it's not going to be nearly as bad as sealed lead acid battery. Sealed seal lead acid battery, once you get below freezing, the amount of capacity you're able to get out of that battery is really, really diminished. Or we're talking, you know, maybe 10% of the capacity. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Um, and a lot of other lithium batteries on the market, you know, your, your drill batteries, they don't perform as well as a lithium iron phosphate. So that, that's a huge plus, especially in the ice fishing world for us. But yeah, if you got something out of this video, guys, do me a favor. Subscribe, like. This next uh, this next video, we're gonna go, we're gonna we're gonna be testing some batteries. We're gonna test the capacity of these sealed lead acid batteries. I got some some other batteries I want to test. I want to know what batteries you want to see tested. You want to see, well, I'm not even going to say it. You tell me in the comment section, tell me what batteries you want to see capacity tested. And we'll, we'll, I'll make a video of them next go around. Thanks guys.